Hey Internet, it's Gunter with Mini Mishaps, and are you guys excited for Shang-Chi? Because we are going to try and make some ten rings out of some milliput. So I am so excited for this movie to come out. I love Marvel, Marvel everything, I love martial arts movies, and uh, the trailers are beautiful and they make it seem like there's going to be some good comedy in there as well. So we're going to take our milliput and we're going to be trying to make uh, the ten rings in sort of a half released or half cast in the case of our D&D translation here, um, either returning to the arm or being sent out from the arm. And we're going to do that by, we're going to roll up the milliput into um, a couple of loose rings and then a stack of rings uh, that is going to be sort of all placed together on a wire, which is then wrapped around the miniature uh, to make it appear like the spell effect is going off out from the arm. So we've got our miniature and um, I'll see if I can find the video and put it up here. But the miniature that we're using is one of the very first ones that I painted back in last October when I started the channel. Uh, so he was probably like maybe even the second miniature that I painted after the um, the bar patron was the first miniature. So the milliput is pretty easy to work with and uh, you just roll it between your fingers until it's as thin, as thin as you think it can be without breaking. It's still trial and error. This is only our maybe second or third project using Milliput, uh, but it does harden to like a hard plastic. So we're gonna here we're gonna make like a little coil, uh, which will then later thread the the silver jewelry wire through. So we've got our rings. We're gonna let those set up. Poof! They're set up like magic. Uh, all right, so now we gotta get up. We're gonna get some jewelry wire, and um, wow, even got <laughs> even got my reflection in there. I don't know how I did that with the lighting. That's pretty Im impressive. Um, the the tray that we use isn't all that reflective, but so we've got the two individual rings, and we've got the the coil of the rest of the rings. There's there's a coil around the arm of the milliput that is roughly four or five rings. Um, because we did this as a coil, there is one continuous piece of milliput on both the arm and in the coil uh, that we're threading here. And so there isn't like a distinguishable, we can count up to the 10 rings, but it's it's a close approximation. There's, there's just about the 10 uh, rings worth of milliput there. So we wrap it around our uh, miniature's waist and then uh, take it behind the ribs and up over the elbow so that it appears that it's coming down and out through the wrist. Uh, so we've got uh, then we're gonna get out a little bit of silver paint so that our our ten rings aren't the milliput off yellow or yellow white or whatever that color is that, that the milliput is. So we're gonna get painted silver. Um, this was a little bit tricky because of the bendability, malleability of the jewelry wire. It didn't want to stay in one place to get painted. So, but we eventually got there. We got our silver paint on, we got our effect in place. Uh, we got him so that he is able to, to use the effect and then use the 10 rings, so let's put him on the spinner. And that is our 10 rings spell effect approximation for our D&D miniature. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks, Internet.